everyone. I'm Sarah and this is Marina. Welcome back to the channel for car lovers. It's a well-known fact that we love classic cars. So in this episode, we take you along on our trip to the Lohmann Museum in Den Haag. This trip was a year in the making. Now, photographing cars in museums is not as easy as you might think. It all started with an email to the director of the museum. This, together with our portfolio, got us a meeting, and only a year later did we travel the 10,000 kilometers again to Den Haag for the shoot. The Lohmann collection is privately owned. The Lohmann family recognized the importance of the automobile and how it completely reshaped human lives. The collection dates back to 1934 and the museum opened in 2010. Yeah, if you are a car lover, this is one for the bucket list. Uh, just walking through the museum, the cars are very, some of them are very rare, exotic cars, amazing stuff I never thought existed. Shooting cars in museums comes with huge responsibilities because we're working with cars that are priceless. We cannot touch them. So if needed, we normally ask someone at the museum to dust the cars for us. And at the same time, we have to be very mindful of the visitors to the museum. We have to cause minimum disruption to their day. The biggest challenge at the Lohmann Museum was to decide which of the 275 cars we were going to photograph. We only had enough time to photograph a handful. No, we felt like a mosquito in a nudist camp. We know exactly <laughs> what to do, but we have no idea where to begin. <laughs> We began with the Rolls-Royce, a 1926 Rolls-Royce Phantom. This car has an interesting story. At the time, when India was still a British colony, um, the Maharajas and other Indian rulers were regular customers of Rolls-Royce. The Prime Minister of Hyderabad placed an order for a new Phantom one with Rolls-Royce in 1925. Barker, Rolls-Royce's favorite coach builder, was commissioned to build this car, and it was finished in a polished aluminium and soon became known as the Silver Phantom of Hyderabad. The door panels were made of solid teak, and um, this car was used often to carry members of the royal family visiting India, including the Prince of Wales, the future King Edward VII. Photographing a Rolls Royce was not an easy job. This is a 1926 car in a polished aluminium finish, and one can see scratches in the paintwork. What I do appreciate about it is when it was renovated, they left some of the patina on the car. With our lighting technique, we were able to get rid of most of the scratches. And because we used directional light, we were also able to create shape in the car and um, hide some of the detail in the car that we don't want to see. At the same time, we got to create some shape and curves in the spirit of ecstasy, because every girl needs some curves. The other thing is that photographers are very often tempted to remove all reflections. Um, we, however, like to shoot reflections of the car's own design elements in the bodywork. This has sort of become our signature look. The next car on our list was the famous DB5 from James Bond. All of the modifications on this car were actually made in the Aston Martin factory. It was uh, driven by Sean Connery in the Goldfinger movie and had all kinds of gadgets fitted to it. It had two browning machine guns to the, behind the front indicators. In the rear it had revolving license plates and it had a smoke dispenser and it had an oil pump so it could make slippery road surfaces. This car, this particular car, is one of two that have survived of the original three that were built. Yeah, it was definitely a car on our bucket list. Um, photographing it was very easy because of the paintwork and the color of the car. We were able to create very cool um, shapes in the taillights as well as the number plate and the Aston Martin badge at the back. And also we were able to create a, a very cool reflections of the taillight in the bodywork of the car. The next car is very special indeed. You're going to have to be with me. I have to read this to you. It's a 1936 Mercedes-Benz 500k Special Roadster. It's um, known to be one of Mercedes-Benz's masterpieces from a point of view of both the styling of this car as well as the technology that went into it. This Roadster um, is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful to look at. It has a V-shaped split windscreen 
It's got a long sloping tail, high doors, shell-shaped wings, and a mother-of-pearl dashboard. Um, this is a um, what, one of only 25 of these sort of luxuriously finished 500 Ks. Um, of the 500 Ks, only 350 were made. Um, I'm not a petrol head, but this is also interesting. This car is equipped with a 5-litre supercharged 8-cylinder engine generating 160 horsepower. Just think about that, Sorrel, 1936. This thing was fast. It was des de delivered to a successful London shipping insurer in 1936. In the 1950s, it was sold to a butcher in Walsall. He used the car regularly, but in 1956, he stored it in a barn where it stood for 30 years before it was found. How cool is that? At the end of the 80s, the, cars was, the car was sold at auction to a Swedish collector, and the, um, he had this car restored. It won several prizes. It won a first prize in its class at the Pebble Beach in 1999. In 2006, it also won the um, Briggs Cullinan Trophy, Cunningham Trophy um, also at Pebble Beach. So this car still runs. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Um, the beautiful, the, the fact that this car was painted, uh, it was like a very dark black blue color, um, made it very easy to photograph uh, reflections, um, create a very soft fine art um, lighting on it. And um, uh, there were so many ang angles on this car that we, we could have spent the whole day Unfortunately, we do not have time to discuss every single car that we photographed there, but one thing is for sure, we are going back to the Lomo Museum. There are at least 260 cars still waiting for us. So here is a selection of the final images that we took at the Lomo Museum.
So if you like that, hit the subscribe and like buttons. So next time, it's my favorite, the Porsche Carrera GT. See you next week. See you next week. Mm, next time. See, See you again. next time. See you again. Cheers, goodbye.